Hi well, there, uh, in this video I'm going to explain how to use uh, the auxiliaries and the sender returns and the buses and how to set them up quickly. I've got three tracks here and I would like to have some reverb on the hand drum. So there's a few ways that I can do this, but I'm going to start with the easiest. Let me make sure that I have the sense in this area here. So I'll go up here and on sense. And then go to the first send, go to the bottom of this menu, where it says new track. This is now a stereo auxiliary input. That's what it defaults to. And I'm simply going to call this reverb, like that. And the send for this particular auxiliary automatically pops up. But it's also located up here. Um, so on the track here, I'm going to go to the inserts, get myself a reverb of some sort. There we go. And then if I play this. There is certainly reverb there. Uh, I could also set this up slightly differently. I can go from scratch and I can create a new track. Make sure that it's a stereo auxiliary input or a mono if you want to use that. And then in this case, I would have to, I'll have to set the inputs. So I'm going to go no input, bus, bus one and two. And we can see at the bottom here also how uh, the previous auxiliary has, its protocol has automatically created a bus for that. So I'll go bus one and two, and then go back to the send. And here I'll go bus one and two, like this. And let's say we put a delay on this instead. Let's go delay, that's fine. And then in this case, it's already open. Uh, I can see that this send belongs to the bus that I've just created because the bus send is highlighted. Uh, and also I can also, of course, have a look up here. So send B bus one and two. One good thing also to remember about the auxiliaries is how the solo save function works in Pro Tools. So for instance, if I solo this track and I turn up the reverb, I can't hear, I can't hear any reverb. And the reason for that is because the reverb auxiliary now is not solo saved. So to do this, I'm simply going to hold down the command key and click. And now you can see it's kind of grayed out a little bit and that means that it's solo safe. So that way I can see it. Uh, depending on what you, how you work with um, the buses and what you use them for, it's usually quite good to just solo save the auxiliary immediately and then you know it is solo saved. Uh, another way that I can use uh, buses is also to route instrument and groups them. Uh, so in this case, I'm simply going to select these three groups like this to change, simultaneously change any outputs or whatever it might be on select the tracks, hold down the Alt key and the Shift key. And then we'll go to bus three and four because we're not using that, like that. And I can now create an auxiliary. And we could call this master beta, or actually we can call it mix bus instead, which is probably a better word. There we go, like that. And of course, I need to set input three and four. So let's say three and four. The one thing is important to remember is that obviously the effects are now being sent to the analogs. In this case, I'm also going to set these ones to the mix bus. Three and four. And as we talked about in a previous lesson, if I now want to, I can create a print track. So I'm going to do this slightly differently. I'm going to go to analog one and two. I'm going to use the new track again. 
And in this instance, I'm going to have an audio track. And I'm going to call this mix. Like that. And now, if I play this, I can't hear anything. So what I need to do is I need to engage the input monitoring. Like that. And then if I want to record this, enable recording. And then I can record this. 